Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 6, Simple Harmonic Motion. Here's the section. This is 6 point J, small angle tension, and the pendulum of the period. Here you can read the scenario to yourself of what is occurring, but essentially it is just a pendulum motion. All right. Here are the graphs for it. You can just pause the video if you would like more time. All right, so the first part of the question asks this. The dashed line on the above graph shows the aptitude displacement for the child if the swing is modeled as a simple pendulum swing with a simple harmonic motion having this period equation. That's correct. And Jessica notice that the dashed line here and the solid line connecting are not aligned. Explain why is it in this case. All right, so before we get to this answer, before I give it to you, I would like you to look at some notes. All right. Now this is called a small angle approximation. This states that the small angle approximation is actually useful as a simplification of some basic trig functions, which is approximately true in the limit where the angle approaches zero. So as the angle approaches zero, sine theta is approximately just theta. That's also equivalent to cosine theta as theta approaches zero, it equals to one minus theta squared over two. Also, tan theta is equivalent to theta, right? Not a lot of people use the cosine one, but sine theta equals to theta and tan theta equals to theta is really useful, right? Why is this idea useful? Because if we take a look at this equation, right, we could look at a, a simple pendulum Okay, and we could read what it says here. That. Okay. If, however, if the theta is small, then the sine theta is very nearly equal to theta, exactly like what we said in the angle approximation. Okay. And then what happens is that then you can get this equation. Okay. They show some values here for what happens for this is what the difference is and this is what the sign of that theta is do you see how it's equivalent super close right the difference is super close it's only when it gets super large that the difference gets larger so from one degree to five degrees to even 10 degrees it's not that far off all right even 15 degrees it's still not that off all right okay but as you get larger, by 30 degrees, it gets, the difference is super large, okay? So, what we can say here is that since the theta is super small, these, it behaves exactly like this equation. Now, let's take a look at this, okay? Is this student going through a small theta? Think about that, then answer the question. All right, so I said that when the angle is small, the pendulum will behave like a simple harmonic motion because sine of the angle is equal to the angle, exactly like what we said in the small angle approximation. But when the angle is big, like in this example, the pendulum cannot be treated as a simple harmonic motion. So it shouldn't behave like that. That's the reason why it didn't match. Why? Because look at the angle displacement. It goes from this from negative 90 degrees, right? It's all going through that motion. That's way too big for the theta, okay? Next part. Angelica claims that the tension in the chain is 200 newtons when the child swings. You could read the rest. Which, which aspect of Angelica's claim is correct and explain why, okay? So pick out one line that she's correct or more, then give the explanation. All right, so just look at the way I answered it. At theta equals to zero, the child is not speeding up or slowing down is a correct statement. Okay, that's it. Now you explained it because she said it right here. At theta, the child is not speeding up. She reasons that this is because the child is not speeding up or slowing down. Okay, I wrote that is the correct statement. Now I back it up with some physics. So I would say at that point, all the mechanical energy is in the form of 
kinetic energy because height is at its lowest point. The child cannot speed up because there's no more potential energy that can be converted to kinetic energy. At that moment, the child is not gaining height or potential energy. Therefore, the child is not slowing down because the kinetic energy is not being transferred into potential energy. Okay, this should make a little bit more sense if we grab our pendulum lab, all right? So here's our pendulum lab, all right? And I'm gonna reset this, okay? Watch as, let's say it's, let's say I started here, uh, let's go from 50 to the other side, it's 50. Here's the period timer. Watch what happens, right? Okay, so uh, let me make this slower. So watch as it's, Okay, so do you see here? It's a lot of potential, okay? A lot of potential, it's already coming back down. But as soon as it comes to equilibrium, boom. Oh, sorry, I, I overshot it. You see how it's a lot of the kinetic? I overshot it a little bit. But at its equilibrium, it's all kinetic energy. There's no more potential energy that is being gained. And right there, okay? So this is its maximum, um, aptitude on this side it's all potential energy why it's all height there's no there's no velocity here and from here watch this is trying to ah i overshot it here what if it's right at the zero part for the equilibrium okay the there's no more height at that point okay that is what i'm trying to say in this scenario the child cannot speed up because there's no more potential energy that can be converted. Also, at that moment, the child is not gaining height. Therefore, the child is not slowing down. Okay? So there you go. There's no more acceleration at that point. Okay? Next point. Which aspect of Angela's claim is incorrect? Okay. So pick a statement and explain it to physics. I said that the statement of tension is not equal um, to because the child is not is equilibrium is incorrect. The force of tension has to be bigger than the cosine part of the gravity. Otherwise, there's no net uh, centripetal force that the child could swing because the remember, she said it right here. She said that the tension must balance the weight. That's not true. Does not balance the weight. If you look at the pendulum motion here. Notice, it, it, it really reads it right here. Let me read it to you. Two forces acting on a swinging pendulum, tension and weight. Tensions at radially. We break the weight vector into two parts, the green part which and then the tangential part, which is the violet. Okay, The tangential part is the one that's going around the circle. Blue is the bigger than the green. The tension is bigger than the green. Okay. Otherwise, there would be no centripetal force and the mass couldn't turn. That's why the tension force always has to be bigger. Okay? All right. So, for this reason, tension is the greatest when the mass is at its lowest point. Even at its lowest point, tension is still higher. But here's the reason for it, for it to be why. Okay, those are some useful notes if you need to understand more properties of the pendulum. It says, part three, why does the graph above and to the right support Angela's claim? All right, so I said Angela's claim that the tension is 200 newtons when theta equals to zero. She says it right there in the scenario. It's, she said, where did she say it? Right here. Angela su suggests that the tension in the claim is 200 newtons when the theta equals to zero. But take a look, All right? The time it takes, do you see this is a complete cycle? So this means the, the pendulum right here is at this point. This point is when it's at equilibrium. So this is at equilibrium. And at the bottom part, it's when the pendulum is on to the right. This is technically one complete cycle. This is one cycle. Here, this is at when the object is at theta equals to zero. 
theta equals to zero, the tension here is equal to 600 newtons. It says it right there. Okay. That's why I wrote. And Jessica's claim that the tension is 200 newtons when theta equals to zero is incorrect based on the graph. On the graph, theta equals to zero is at one second. At one second, the tension is 600 newtons based on the graph. Now, part four, explain why the tension in the chain is greater than 200 newtons at theta equals to zero. Spite, cite Pacific physical properties. Before we do that, we can take out some notes here, okay? That you should probably look at, all right? The excess of tension over weight um, in a pendulum is the net force that accelerates the mass upwards, causing it to do the pendulum motion, right? If T is actually less than the mg, then the acceleration would be downwards, approaching the acceleration of gravity. Okay, this wouldn't be the case. So what they're telling you here is that tension has to be greater for it to accelerate, for it to be um, going around in its pendulum motion. Okay, because it has to have that centripetal acceleration. Good. So think about it right here. T goes up, mg goes down. There needs to be an F net equals to ma. This F net, which is in red, that is the centripetal acceleration. Okay. So what? Can, so those are the notes. So what can you write here for your answer? All right. Pause it and try it. I wrote the child can be seen as a part of going around in a circle. Okay. So the pendulum motion was like this uh, was like this right and then it was something like this and like this then if you continue it right it should look something like a if you continue it all the way it should look like a circle that's what i mean okay should behave like a circle all right i try to draw a circle best as i can here so there must be a net force centripetal force exert on the child towards the center of the circle which is this red part here, okay? So there has to be a net part that's going, that's pulling it in, just the red part, right? There has to be a net part. At theta equals to zero, the two forces at the vertical, which is right here, this is when theta equals to zero, the two forces at that vertical is the force of tension and the force of gravity, exactly like this can be seen right here okay if they were both equal to each other then there would be no centripetal force and the child couldn't swing to keep the child swing in its circular motion the tension force must be greater at that point so because it is greater at that point there is an F net equals to ma which is the centripetal acceleration okay all right there you go these are some notes that you should have for this if you would like to pause it Okay, here is the angle approximation notes. Here's the sim simple pendulum notes. And here are the notes on uh, why the tension force should be greater. Okay, all right, there you go.